A student with a bip destroyed my room. I am not oop. Oop is U T C U O O in R teachers. A glossary of education acronyms. BIP. Behavior Improvement Plan. A plan to deal with behavior of students who have severe behavior issues in class. SRO. School Resource Officer. A police officer assigned to a school for security. 504. A plan for addressing students with disabilities in class. Students may have physical disabilities or learning disabilities like dyslexia. Essay. Exceptional student education. Class for students with learning disabilities. IEP. Plan for how to adjust teaching to accommodate students with learning disabilities. LRE. Least restrictive environment. Students with disabilities are supposed to be placed in regular ed classroom whenever possible so they're not isolated from other students. P equals principal. AP equals assistant principal. VS equals behavior specialist. J equals the student. Trigger warning. Physical violence. Less than. Mood spoiler. Pretty satisfying ending. Less than. A student with a bit destroyed my room and some of my personal items September 12, 2022. I'm so sad. At the risk of losing my anonymity. My classroom is very well decorated. It's all superhero themed with lots of stuff I've collected from toy conventions and places like Dave and Busters. Then I have a college corner where I have my own grad stuff and college info. I have a student we'll call Jay. He has a BIP and a 504 for emotional outbursts. He has a permanent hall pass he's allowed to use whenever he feels an outburst coming. But he refuses. If he gets annoyed, he'll scream or hit things. Today was a pretest for elements of fiction. It's scored, but not graded. He got mad at his score so he punched the computer. The screen has dead pixels now. I tried to talk to him but he screamed. Walked over to my desk and started ripping all my handouts. Then he punched my tin superhero signs and knocked my superhero cups off the shelf so they shattered. I called security to remove Jay. While I was on the phone, he ran over to the college corner and ripped my gown and bent my cap. Then he just randomly hit whatever he could until the SRO dragged him out. The saddest part? None of the other kids were shocked. This is the fifth time security has removed Jay from my room for punching things. This is seventh grade but Jay is twice my size. At least some of the other kids told me they'll hold him back if he ever hits me. So there's that. I spent my afternoon cleaning up my broken stuff and crying. Knowing that I'll have Jay again tomorrow. Redditor. Time to get this young man out of your room. This is not the appropriate setting for his disability. I say this because your description sounds very much like a gen ed room. They need to reevaluate the BIP and the 504 and get him an IEP. I would go to the special ed teacher and see what they suggest. They may know the best way to get things changed and IEP started. And the admin and request he no longer be in the room. Honestly. A safety issue for you and the general ed students in the room not acceptable i am sorry you lost or had so much destroyed i wonder how his parents might feel if you make up a receipt for the damages incurred redditor this bothers me so much maybe it's not the take i should have but if a student is prone to this kind of outburst the regular ed classroom is not an appropriate placement i understand ideas of least restrictive environment and such but I'm so tired of students like this being pushed into inappropriate settings to the detriment of every other student and teacher in the room. Where are the parents who are willing to question this and push back for the learning environment of their kids? Where is the concern for the safety and education of every other person in that room? I'm sorry you have to deal with this. Update. A student with a bip destroyed my room and some of my personal items September 16, 2022. First of all wow! 
I was not expecting that sort of support. I am so grateful. You all gave me the courage to advocate for change when I otherwise wouldn't have. Some maybe relevant background info is that I came to this country when I was 13 and the trip did a lot of damage to my ability to feel courageous. Especially when standing up for myself. I'm trying to get better. But I still get scared easily. Anyway. This all happened on Monday. I went in Tuesday and asked my AP if Jay could go somewhere else for my class until we have a meeting. After school. He agreed. Jay worked in the library. I had a meeting after school with AP and explained everything to him. AP had no idea it was this bad. Nor that it was so physical. He called P into the meeting. Apparently. BS has been downplaying the episodes that involve the kids with BIPs. And this has become an issue. BS is now being closely mentored, coached for transparency and honesty in reporting concerns. Things have been broken in other classes by Jay and a student in art class had paint thrown on her by Jay. The admins knew nothing about any of this. As for my things, P and AP are making it right. They contacted Jostens to order me a new cap and gown. An app's wife, who loves to sew, is going to put on the college emblem and my year on it. That's way fancier than my old one. For the rest, they asked me to itemize it and give them a dollar amount to add to my next check. Tax free, as a reimbursement, today. They came by my room with a gift card to Dave and Buster's and told me, have your husband win back. Anything else? In a playful way. As for Jay, he has been put in an essay room for now for art, history, and English. He struggles with more creative classes because he gets tripped up on being right. There is a meeting next week to determine evals for his long-term placement. I don't hate him or resent him in any way. I want the best for him and I know my classroom wasn't the right place for him. Thank you to everyone here. Reminder. I'm not oop. I kept the mood spoiler unspoiled and dove into the first post I was incredibly hardened by the update though I note that BS appears to be in app descriptor of the behavior specialist given the horrific lack of support so many teachers face. But at the same time I'm sad. It shouldn't have gotten this bad in the first place. And so many teachers in similar situations don't get a good outcome. This might be the least dysfunctional school I've read on BORU. So 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 glad I was talked out of being a teacher. So glad. I was a student only 20 years ago and I couldn't imagine this environment. I had an early diagnosis of OCD. And while support would have been nice. I was a regular student like everyone else. If a student had acted this badly. I can't even picture it. We had one kid who was a problem. He never assaulted the teacher or broke anything. But he would inappropriately touch other students. Until we all stopped interacting with him. I remember he flipped up my skirt one day. And my mom reamed the administration. Admin said there was nothing they could do and said I should stop wearing skirts. In front of them. My mom said to me. If he sexually harasses you ever again. You have my permission to punch him as hard as you can. Admin tried to argue and she told them if they can't do anything about sexual harassment. They can't do anything about this. That kid never spoke to me again. So I guess they could do something. LOL. So thankful that OP's school backed them up. I'm in the SPED field and the lack of support is astounding. I understand the LRE. But at what cost of learning for the other students? Last year I was physically attacked by a student bigger than me every day. Bitten. Slapped. Kicked. Etc. My room evacuated almost daily while I would handle this student one-on-one. -on -one. I started crying in the mornings on the way to work I dreaded it so much. I'm someone who's got a background with difficult behaviors and pride myself on handling anything. Thrown at me. 
and I expect my job to be hard at times. It comes with the territory. However, that's the year that almost made me quit teaching. And the year I left that entire district. When I was a kid, I was always the calmest and least reactive kid my teachers would have to the point they would occasionally forget I was there. That's a story for another day. First grade my mother actually had to have a few meetings with the teacher because weirdly I was always sitting surrounded by all the loudest and most disruptive kids in class. To the point where I was regularly complaining to my mother that I was unable to hear the teacher and was struggling with the kids near me. Eventually the teacher admitted she put those kids next to me on purpose since I was a calming influence on kids that needed extra help. Which really meant since I didn't react their activities were usually thwarted in their tracks. Yeah, my mom ripped her a new one. Honestly, in hindsight, I do still think my mom was right to demand I move. And I kind of feel for the kids that clearly needed a different situation that would have made learning more easy for them. Both of us were losing in that scenario. Hope those few months of sitting next to me helped. But I really hope they found a way to learn that worked for them. I also hope the boy in this gets set up in a situation where he has the chance to succeed. And I suspect this is a situation where removing him benefits everyone. It's unfair to put those students in a normal classroom where they get to disrupt how many other people? Good for Oop for getting him out of her class. OOP's affair partner was surprisingly helpful. Or maybe I've just read too many BORU from other subreddits. I'm glad everything was solved in the end. But like, no matter how much I trust my students, I would never have that many personal and breakable items in the classroom. I am admittedly a very cold robot, but how tf does anyone want to be a teacher? Financially unrewarded, physically and financially unsupported, mentally and physically dangerous, politically sabotaged, toothless useless unions, the worst job ever. I'm married to a teacher. I don't get it. I don't understand the motivation behind downplaying a student's disabilities. So not only do you sabotage yourself for not being truthful and make yourself look incompetent, but then you sabotage the student by placing them in environments where they don't get the help they need because of your dishonesty. What on earth? The pendulum has swung too far with LRE. It was absolutely needed because there were kids being locked in closets and worse. But now people are overcorrecting to a really detrimental degree. I actually had to advocate to have my child placed in a contained classroom. He absolutely could not function in a gen ed classroom and he's thriving in his quieter, safe classroom. The principal and vice principal should have known about this. though. If the SRO has removed a student from a gen ed classroom five times, they should have known. They should have known the first time. Incidences like that need to be monitored for everyone's safety. SROs have killed and injured disabled kids. I would have never been a teacher. In my country a student stabbed a teacher. A girl who grew up in the same neighborhood as me in front of the entire class because she asked him to quiet down and not be disruptive. It was so sad. Hold up. Everything was handled how it should and professionally. Color me shocked. Back in the early 90s, I was a substitute teacher aide. This meant that I got a phone call in the morning from the district telling me where I was going to be that day. One morning. I got an assignment to a school I hadn't heard of before which wasn't a surprise because it's a huge district. I was told it was an open-ended assignment, but to try it for the day before deciding if I wanted to pursue it for the longer term. Hmm. Okay. I don't remember now if I was told before getting to the school what my assignment for the day would be. 
but in essence it was following one kid around for the morning and lunchtime to make sure he didn't hurt anyone. I see. I found out the class was for kids with severe emotional issues and the boy I was tasked with minding that day was enormous. He was around 12 and bigger than me and I was not small myself. That was a very odd day. We were in a separate classroom that had an attached cooldown room with thick gym mats. The kid I was working with was actually fine. But there were a couple of other kids that had issues. One incident I recall is when we were in the classroom and I was encouraging my charge to work on his worksheet. He was going along and I zoned out and my eyes just kind of roamed around the room. One other boy took exception to this and started shouting. Teacher. She's looking at me. Over and over. I don't remember if he went to the cooldown room. But you can bet I didn't look at him again. Another time there was a boy playing checkers with another aide and out of nowhere he just started throwing checkers and shouting. That day I saw a kid get dragged into the cooldown room in a half Nelson. I can still see it. I declined the opportunity to continue the assignment. My BF at the time did the same gig and ended up working with the boy for an extended period and learned more about his situation. To no one's surprise, abuse was a big part of his life. It's been 30 years and I still think about those boys and wonder how they got on. Damn I wish my school had been like OOPs loudly crying loudly crying. Instead, they just let dangerously incorrectly medicated tiny me wreak havoc until they dragged me out the door kicking and screaming. I still can't watch movies where characters are restrained because of this. Over 20 years later. I'm horrified other 12 yo were offering to protect Goop if, when that kid got physically abusive. Towards them. These are children. That kid should have never been allowed in general ed classes. IHASM. I hate acronyms so much. I'm a little confused. Maybe because I was in grammar school more than 40 years ago. Is it usual for teachers to decorate a classroom with personal mementos? From what was described, it sounded like these items would be more appropriate in a hobby room or other location in someone's home. Because they are special and perhaps valuable. I get that kids might enjoy seeing the collectibles in class. Though, to me, they would be a distraction. But how does a teacher's cap and gown enrich the student's education? I'm asking because I haven't been in a grammar school in Ian's and I don't know where Oop lives. I'm in US. But these strike me as strange classroom decor all my classrooms were decorated with brightly colored educational items and students work. Thanks. By downplaying the behavior the BS is absolutely failing those kids. I'm sure they think they're somehow helping but it's doing the opposite. All it does is ensure that the kids don't get the right support. I know worry tends to be about the other students, staff in situations like this. And obviously that concern invalid. But as a former kid with disabilities. My heart goes out to Jay and I hope they're able to get him proper support. I mean, I fully understand wanting to keep students with disabilities in classrooms I thrived in a regular classroom, with the right support, and I know a lot of other kids who did as well. I see so many comments on posts like this. Not this one so far. I'm not calling anyone out. That boiled down to put the special ed kids in a room and lock them away from the normals, which always bother me. There's a big difference, though, between giving a kid proper support to thrive in a regular classroom environment and ignoring real valid problems. Putting multiple people, including Jay, in danger, as if they'll go away on their own. Some kids can't do regular classrooms, at least at certain times, and putting them in there fails everyone, especially them. Emo teachers aren't paid enough to deal with this kind of stuff. I understand the benefits of mainstreaming. 
but in these circumstances, that child does not belong in a general education classroom. Violence shouldn't be tolerated. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.